Welcome to this week's uh, G.I. Joe Toy Review. This is uh, week three of of uh, Women's Month. I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. Uh, this week we'll be taking a look at G.I. Joe's covert op officer and the third lady in the G.I. Joe team to join the G.I. Joe team in uh, Lady J. But before we look at Lady J, as usual, let's give a shout out to uh, one of my favorite stores here in Winchester, Virginia. Back to the media. Where you can buy all your vintage video games, music, movies, and more. But right there is the address, 41 South Loudon Street on, uh, in Winchester, Virginia. You can go to www.backtothemedia.com to look at their website. You can also find them on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, I just found out today, actually, if you're any of y'all that are uh, professional wrestling fans, the tag team of uh, the Nasty Boys, uh, Brian Knobs and Jerry Sags will be there on the on April the 23rd, I believe it is. I'll refresh and check the date, you know, later on. But uh, go take the store out if you're in the Winchester area or plan to visit. So let's take a look at Lady J, starting off with her file card. If you see uh, Covert Operations, codename Lady J. File name Alice, Allison R. Hart Burnett. Primary Military Specialty Intelligence. Secondary Military Specialty, Personal Personnel Clerk. Birthplace, Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, Grade D4. Lady J graduated from Brian Marr and did her graduate work at Trinity College in Dublin, where she acquired the faint gil, gil, the Celtic lit that adorns her speech. An accomplished actress in mind, as well as studied linguist, she can easily pass as a native in France, Italy, Poland, Russia, Germany, Afghanistan, Spain, and Portugal. Airborne and Ranger qualified. Graduated from military from military intelligence school, Fort Halliburton. Qualified expert M sixteen, M nineteen eleven A one, and reflex crossbow. And uh, most people know this. Well, let's keep going to her accessories. First, but uh, here was her figure stand. You see a uh G.I. Joe logo with all customary 50th anniversaries gold on top. Go name Lady J. Let's take a look at her, her uh, weapons now. So she comes with her infamous uh, power javelin. And she also comes with her uh, P28, just like the Baroness does. Also, in this, uh, this, this version of Lady J is the uh, Social Class 2 pack with the Baroness. And she also comes with a uh, M60. She also comes with a uh, assault machine gun. And I kind of like the, uh, the green and the black on here, even though the green is kind of like an off color. And she also comes with two mini UMPs, with uh, both of them with suppressors on them. So let's take a look at Lady J. Here's Lady J. As you can tell, she's wearing her signature black hat, which both vintage and modern figure come with this. Even though she did not was not wearing a hat during the in the comic book nor in the uh, animated series, she did not wear a hat. Uh, she comes in with uh, short brown hair, shoulder, somewhat shoulder length. You know, nice scarf on the face. She's got her little brown web gear on with her green jumpsuit, rolled up sleeves. And I think this actually should be a one piece jumpsuit. As you can see, she also got black gloves, black combat boots. Also on the belt, she's got a. Uh, Silver belt, belt buckle with some kind of sign on it. I can't tell what it's supposed to be, but if any of y'all know, uh, put it, leave it, uh, leave it in the com in the comments below. So let's take a look at the articulation of uh, of Lady J. You know, she has the typical three hundred sixty head degree or three hundred sixty degree head turn. You can get her arm to about there. Swivel. Swivel the arm all the way around 360. She uh, bends at the elbow. 
swivels at the elbow, swivels at the wrist. She also has the app cart feature. I'm not sure if this could pick it up, but the uh, the um the beer does hinder it somewhat. She has the typical T hook legs. Spread it to there. Lift it up to there. Double knee joints. But just to show it again, that's how high she can lift her leg up. And she's also got the rocker at the ankle. As well as rotate the ankle 365 degrees or 360 degrees. Mm. That's, that's the articulation on uh, Scarlet. I mean, not Scarlet, but Lady J. Let's look at Lady J when she's in battle ready mode. So here's Lady J full set up in battle gear. I like to always keep her with her power javelin. You know, that's uh, because she always carries it in both the Sunbow animated series as well as the Deke animated series. And uh, I always like to put one of the machine guns in here. As you can tell, she's got more weapons than she can actually carry, which, you know, once again, has bro. More, more accessories does not equal better accessories, you know. But, uh, Dalton Lady J, well, her first comic appearance was in issue number 32, where she came in with papers to replace Scarlet. Um, her first animated appearance was in The Rise of the, uh, Revenge of Cobra Part 1. Uh, as most people know about Lady J, she is romantically linked to uh, Flint. She, um, she's, you know, her and Scarlet really didn't have a good, much of a friendship. Got the comic book series. I never really seen them intertwine in the animated series either. Not to my knowledge, I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. Uh,. But as of, I would rank her as middle tier due to the plainness of her uniform and what saves her is her relationship with Flint. Otherwise, I would always consider her like an uppity up soldier. It's just too plain in my opinion. But uh, for vintage reviews of of um, Lady J, you can watch Hooded Cover Commander 788's channel or BX257's channel. As well for fitness reviews of Lady J. You can also watch for this figure, which comes in a, like I said previously, a two pack with uh, the Baroness and the 50th anniversary social class two pack. You can watch the opening and review by us, uh, by uh, Colby on Sanitarium Productions. Uh, but before I leave, I also want to make a double shout out to uh, uh, Joe Motion Videos 82. I hope you're watching this video. Uh, Glad to see you uh, on your last video. You're doing better, brother. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to see it. Uh, love, having you, love having you around and watching your videos. And uh, also another shout out to my boy Green Yeti if you're watching. Uh, I'm glad to see your live video that you did with your Galapagos figures and your Cobra live stuff. Pretty awesome, dude. Keep on collecting. But uh, thank you everybody for watching this video this week. I wish y'all tune in next week. And the reason why I mentioned Green Yeti with getting his Cobra live figures is because next week, which is week four of Cobra Month, I will be looking at the Cobra La Emissary, the uh, woman of Cobra La, or so to speak, Cobra La's first lady in Pythona. So tune in next week to watch Pythona's video as for week four of Women's Month. So thank you all for watching and see you all next week.